Welcome to Friday. Ah, you'll notice there is no microphone over my shoulder. And I have an audio check on how we sound. All the way up there. Yeah, all the way up there. Are we too loud, too quiet? We sound amazing. I always sound amazing. What? What about me? Yeah. Ow. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are in the game now. We can go and do whatever we want. Yes. I remember we got a notification from the Academy and you and chat was going crazy like they wanted me to do it first. It's up to you what you want to do first. Uh, I have you, you a get, feeling that's sort of You can get fish first if you want. Fish. I don't know where you would buy them, but I have some... I suspect I can find some locations. You can get reaper fish. Fish that have been turned into reapers. Into husk, husk I fish. I don't think I want that. <laughs> can't hear any game yet, so I can't tell if you're too loud. Yeah. Turn up the game audio. What I will do is turn... Let's see. I'll turn that up to that. How's the game sound now? Do you need any fuel? I don't think so. I haven't really traveled anywhere. Better. Okay. Better or good? Oh, and you can do go over to that planet by the fuel depot and hit the left trigger. So that will tell you if there's anything around there that you're, you're need to get. This is where the Turians live, so probably not. But just wanted you to see that. Where's Check back when there's gunfire. Okay. It's not on fire. Mm. Isn't this supposed to be on fire? I feel okay. strange. I can move. I can stretch my uh, arms out. Is it the meme with diplomats that everyone was telling me was important? Why don't you look around? I don't know what meet with diplomats is. Um, what are the other circles? Prothean artifact. Rescue students. Okay, students is what everyone was telling me to do. Okay. What's all the way over here? Probably something. Server's uh, lab. Server's lab. I was going to say quarries. Quarries would be over there on the right in the Perseus Vale. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're doing that yet. Uh, yeah, what? Chat. Yes, no? I'm not understanding chat. I know what the Prothean artifact is, but yeah. I'm pretty sure this one's. Everything in here is timed. Is it? If I'm correct. Okay. That's what you told me anyways. So what are you doing first? I'm pretty sure everyone wants me to do this one Chad first. is pro-education. Okay. I'm thinking that one since everyone wants me to do it, and I also think it's timed, and I think that's important to get done so that okay. the students don't die. Okay. Because students dying's not good. I mean, maybe, maybe it is good. I, I don't know. Well, who are the students? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, there's an asteroid field. That's something to scan, but I'm not going it to. It is. Here we go! Okay. Ah, uh, yes. So if they were dead, they wouldn't have to do homework? What? <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good trade-off. Who are you bringing with you? It's a school for biotics, though. Would they have homework? Yeah. Well, uh, making singularities. Exactly! Isn't that fun? 
It depends on if you have to do it or you want to do it. It's like an Edie and Liara. Okay. We haven't brought Edie out yet. And Liara is able to pair off. Oh, good. Myself. We get to spend 30 minutes setting, uh, setting skills. Oh, yeah. Okay, you gonna keep that on yourself? I'm pretty sure this is what I want. Okay. Uh, Edie has guns, hand guns. Does she have that? Yeah, she got. Without taking it from yes. me? Oh. So I can just set everyone's to that? Yes. But that's awesome. Yep. No reason not to. Next. Uh, this is Shepard. Okay. Uh, so she does incinerate, over, uh, overload, and defense matrix. Oh, and decoy. Decoy could be useful because enemies will attack the decoy instead of people. What are you? What are you looking for? What do you want Edie to do? I think decoy would be nice. Okay. Like we'll put one in each. Yeah. Let's Start up there. If you want to think about it, you can do that. Get a sense of what where things do. Decoy at least up to three something. Okay. Just in that. We'll see what. Let's see what rank four is. Increased duration of the decoy, or the decoy has shields. Hmm. We'll see and test the decoy. Okay. Out. Um. That seems sort of cool. Okay. Do it up. That's uh, against biotics. Yeah. Or did I say biotics? I meant synthetics. Mm. And shields. You think one in both of these? Sure. Okay, let's see what Liara has. Uh, you can do a five pointer if you want. Singularity. She likes doing that. What's charge the other one? or damage? Probably for her damage. Yeah, because she does it so much. Yeah. Okay. I don't really have anything else for the planet. Okay, here we go. And there's the folks who answered the distress call Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right, we'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh boy, can I? Shoot that ship.
Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, yeah, it sure was. Commander, I'm locked in the server room around the corner. Cerberus troops are trying to get in. That was lucky because I forgot, I, mean, I immediately forgot what my weapons were. Anyone else? Yeah. Hello! We're gonna shoot it now. Yay. That room back there. Mm -hmm. Go past your room. Oh. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are... Biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, oh God, it's been 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. What about the students? A few months knocking oh. over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frober. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. It's not like there's cannibals in the office? What? Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. Might want to jump over in the wall. I'm used to playing a vanguard. Uh-huh. How would you be used to playing a vanguard? Uh, so you're playing multiplayer? What the heck is going on? 
There's a guy, another guy over there. To your right, to your right, to your right, to your right. Yeah, they're right there. They give you shields. Oh. What's that? By the way, there's uh things you can pick up all over the place in here. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like a really good gun. I don't actually like that. You don't like it? I have a snooker for a while now. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Thank you for trying. What over there? Okay. Where are you walking? Not there. Through there. That's where I came from! Yes, was there anything over there you needed to get? Can I mention that the music? See? That Another the... gun. You would have never had that gun the entire game if you hadn't walked in here. It's a shotgun. Guess what gun I'm never gonna use? A shotgun! Guess what gun your Krogan can use? All the Krogan she's gonna have. Eat this. Jack? <laughs> Shepherd. Deal with an Atlas in multiplayer. Uh, get behind it. And shoot it over. Thank you. See, chat knows what you're supposed to do. Did you see what chat said? This is biotic explosion. Whoa, where'd that guy come from? You need to get the shields off. Someone's down. Liara is down. Alright, now you can do an explosion. I guess not. Hmm. Use warp. Oh, you need to pay attention now. Yeah, I was trying to get behind cover and then I fly across the room. The students aren't a train there's, you know, there's a bunch of bad guys standing right there, right? Oh, hi. He punched him in the butt. There's still an atlas behind you. I know.
Edie's down. Good. You should stay behind cover. I am, and then she did a roll, which I didn't tell her to do. Uh, missile. Hey, yeah, you can do shockwave through the wall. It might be worth getting EDO. Sniper rifle, also. That's what I'm using. Also, I have to deal with an Atlas, though. Let your health go up. took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> uh. Damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. Jack's personality appears largely unchanged. Hey, Edie. Nice body. Now you look like a sex bot instead of a sex toy. Okay. Right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well... I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, ma'am. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. Left. Left. Through the hallway. You talk to Shepard also. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So all this talk about biotic artillery strikes... It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But... 
They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed-off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. But do they get hurt? Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base. Throwing husks around, making shockwaves all over the place. Ugh. I can think of right. damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. Okay. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Okay. Save. Because. Oh, uh. Okay, just save. Maybe you don't go down the hallway yet. Because the door is not opened. Maybe you have to go upstairs. How does camera access Actually. get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. You really get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. Sorry. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. I can't believe you and our teacher so worked. You work with Commander Shepard? Both of That's you here. Had us. Maybe we've got a chance. And stuff. Check the uh, doors on the side also. Oh, what's that? There's a thingy. Mm -hmm. You need a Cerberus laptop. That looks like a laptop. And it has a Cerberus symbol on it. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Above the door. Above the door. Above the door. You know the room the students are standing in? This part, this room can be, you can get like uh, people going all over the place and getting behind you and... Everyone be ready. I do. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu Those guys from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right, I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? Lying. I've seen firsthand what Cerberus does to people they promised not to harm. What? 
You see the scars, Rodriguez. Come on, take a good look. Cerberus did this to me when I was half your age. Ugh. Surrender and your meat on a slab. We're trying to save your asses. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go! Oh, stop. Turn left. There's something on the... Is it a grenade? Oh, okay. Oh, and there's an atlas. Oh, this room. And an engineer. Oh, engineers? Uh... Maybe I want to shoot the engineer. Maybe do a shockwave when you can't see anyone. You couldn't go up the railing. You couldn't go up the ramp. You have guns. Sniper rifle might be good on the shield guy. Yeah, you have other abilities too. Like warp. I like pull more. Okay. Why do I have this? What did you take off? There's a guy behind you. There's a guy punching you. Okay, now, he, now he's sleepy. Maybe go up the railing a little bit so you can actually see. Uh, maybe not that much. Engineer, turret. There's a turret. No, 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 no. Uh, don't be there. There's a guy next to you. That's not gonna help. You need to get out of there. You need to get out of there. You need to. You... <laughs> what? He's doing all this fancy stuff with his shield. Shoot, uh, shoot him. That is not covered. That is still not covered. Dude, don't be there. Don't be there. Don't be there. Don't be there. You are still there, not getting away. There's an engineer! Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you! Now I'm Liara's down. Singularities. You took something off your Y button. Uh, I wanted this to be X, this to be Y. Much better. Uh, grenade. Now you can get up top. Oh, no. Never mind. I think they just keep coming. Until you get across the room. Maybe focus really? on the Atlas. So you can get across the room. You have a gun still. I know. I know you forget about that, but... Your teammates are down. Oh, 
Okay. Let's clean the guys out. Are you using what what are you using on the shield guys? Okay. Punch him. Oh, you can't punch him when he's flying above you. No, he, he has shields. You need to get the shields down first. There's a guy in the right. Okay, you're gonna need to move forward. Uh, he's gone. There is a turret somewhere. It's up there. It's okay, hold on. You see that shield thing over there? See that sparkly thing over there? Yeah, yeah you need to get rid of that because it's restoring the shields on the turret. Down, 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 down. Sniper rifle. It's like, yep, yeah, you got it. Oh, what's that guy doing? Trying to make another turret. Now you can shoot the turret. Down. Down. Okay, good. Oh, take out that turret. The shield thing next to it. Take cover. Shield thing. Is a little door underneath where you're currently at. Yep, yeah, right there. What the heck was that? <laughs> Some fancy tricks. Oh, he's putting a turret down. The back grenade. Take cover right there. Get that engineer. The shockwave. That's a good shockwave moment. Yeah, you can probably move up. Shockwave. Shockwave. I'm trying to avoid let me. Okay, that, you need to get the guy who can shoot you. Parrot. That's what I was worried about. Ooh. <laughs> Engineer left. There's a turret back there that Engineer is more important. Uh, hide and grenade! You stepped right on the grenade! Yes, yes, I did. You 
Please don't ice shot me. Great, and grab that. Grab that. It's money. Oh, get him. Quick. Left. Sniper rifle. Oh, get him. Shockwave. You should use a sniper rifle. Get out of there, grenade. Good job. There seems to be a guy behind you. You are dead, you hear me? Ah, turret! It's still there somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's above us. It was above us. There was no way I would have been able to stop that thing. Nice one, friendly. Let me know if you want some help. Get the engineer before he puts the turret down. There's, yeah, there's another one over there. It's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. Hide. Engineer left. He's gonna put a turret down. Oh, don't stand there. Noticed. Wait. Now you can go. There's a guy left again. Left. Left. Your other left. There's an engineer up there. Yes, I see that. You. No turret. Shockwave. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, shockwave. Here, you need to not be there. Shockwave them, shockwave them. The engineer is repairing it. They got him. The guy, there's guys. Okay, just follow Edie. Ooh. 
This is where you go. Back the other way. Down the stairs. Yep, there. Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals... 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know her? Yes. She rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. She made it quiet. You did a great good. job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. He looks much healthier. I remember you. The Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. There's, he's saying that because you did that DLC in the other game, you get some sort of gun in you. I but you got an upgrade. It was two. It was upgraded your gun. Left. Just make sure. Oh, what's that? like schematics for amp interfaces not as good as what we already have but still worth a look <laughs> left 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 saving <gasps> oh yeah i forgot about this shoot that guy ned or or let him do stuff Wait, 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 before you go in, there's stuff. <laughs> Maybe save again. Oh, Phantoms. Phantom Initiative. Missiles, guns, and melee. Missile. You missed. Maybe missile better. Oh, 
Don't forget you got shotguns. You didn't think you'd be the boss in the boss fight, did you? What are you doing? Turn around. Left. Missile. Uh, melee. Melee. I can't! Oh, okay. Shooting Edie. Thank you, Gal. That's all. Yeah, you might have to hold it down. Yeah, it seems like you're shooting them, but there's lots of guys over there. That's all that guy. Wow, that's some shield. There was a guy. Oh, Lear must have got him. to go. Yeah. He's, he's dead. You just want to use the missile? No, you didn't. No. I hear another atlas. Maybe you should. Oh, wait, there was something there. Behind you. Um. 
Maybe don't be standing there. I was trying to move. I got stuck on a bench. I have to redo this. Do you want me to do it? Be sad. No! Missile doesn't work when they're buying cover. Some guys, missile. You got three of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I hit myself. Shoot. There's a guy right in front of you. There's also a guy on the left. Might want to shoot the guys on the right because there's like ten of them. Guy below. up up on the left on the left behind the pillar okay he's dead right right see him the aim is just kind of sucks because it makes you miss oh nice Shuttles. Oh, there he is. Missile him. Yeah, maybe. Shoot while you're getting the missile ready. Oh, back behind cover. He's shooting the missile. Okay, go. Job. Okay, get out. Hurry, Commander. The Normandy has pulled the cruiser out of position. We need to leave now. 
Yep, that's the gun you're using. Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. I don't even have my Take gun on me! Students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. All right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. That's true. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. What do you think? They didn't do that much. Okay. Now they're definitely ready, but the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> What the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar or something? <laughs> I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well, I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Curious. Do they go on here? They no. do. No, they oh, do. They do. Hit the button. No. no. Yep. They'll be in there somewhere. There you go. Oh yeah, when you find minerals and stuff, they count towards. Oh, that's cool. I think we have enough time for one more mission. Possibly. It's, that was an hour. You know, when we were there on leave, it's still 4.30. Commander, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. Uh-oh. Oh, no. See you there. 
This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved, said goodbye, made my peace. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. We're all alone! Yeah, that's, that seems like the sort of option you'd pick. <laughs> not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Okay. Now, actually, mm. one more thing. I do believe I do have a few more armor pieces. Yeah, you do. But maybe, maybe we could do that after. Yeah. Okay, let's see what other missions we have. I'm not doing that right now. Enough delays. Commander, you forgot to fill out your TPS reports. <laughs> You're gonna scan that system, or do you want me to? You might, might want to. Oh, guess there's nothing here. What's next? <laughs> okay. We we could do this. Okay. That's fine. It's relatively short. Get whatever the artifact is. <laughs> this time. Valera uh, has to come as the Prothean expert. What do you think? It's up to you. I think it's from Darius and Edie. Okay. We'll do Darius and change it up a bit. Oh, okay. 
Oh, okay. Same rear points. You gotta do your stuff for you. And this. Okay. It's only three points. Yeah. Okay. Concussion. Concussive shot, it's like a big me shot. Overload, you know what that does. Armor piercing ammo, you can guess what that does. Proximity mine, you can guess what that does. So what do you want them to do? I'm not really that interested in proximity mines. Oh, you can also auto level up if you want. Oh, yeah. Armor piercing... I'm curious. Okay, that's a great four. We'll upgrade that to tier four so everyone else can have that. Okay. I can't go back. It's because you flicked this stupid stick. You use concussion concussive shot a lot last game. Mm -hmm. So maybe put that up. Okay. For some damage or impact radius. I'm thinking impact radius. What else do you think I should put up? Um, practice of Simony Mine. Either one. Okay, I think you're good. You put that up if you want. Okay. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. <sighs> Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. Got better. We got him in the end. That we did. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... They killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. up on ships. Lose one, you can always move to another. But you can still remember.
Wait, so you can use the same map. What do you mean? As the original you can try? No. Uh... Just saying, stuff is hard. Possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's a Prothean. Like the collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans, the people, not the technology? Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. Remember. You remember? I don't know. Uh. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. <clears throat> oh. Shooting long range. Too bad you don't have a sniper rifle. Shooting before you're aiming. Um, All right, let's get moving before more of them come back. Well, that's the way you gotta go. Resistance troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrols. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Shut 
Ah, there's a turret, there's a turret. There you go. Uh, there's a glass in the way. No, kill the engineer first. He'll just repair the turret. Well, uh, don't, I wouldn't stand there. I would not stand there. Holy crap! Hi, guys! So make sure you realize you're not a vanguard. Shockwave. Did you get him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have shuttered. No hacking, finally. Kill the guys. He's not exploding because you're not using warp or throw. Oh, he's not exploding because he has shields. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life parts. I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. I think this is just getting stuff, but you can get stuff in here. I 
there's a dead body by it. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold, it's somebody's home. Our engineer, engineer. I, 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 I. Jeez, you don't get much closer than that. Uh, the engineer is repairing it. Oh, there's two. Yeah. The and engineer the is repairs perfectly. them. You want to get rid of the engineers. to shoot him or something. You need to use warp to do bionic explosions. Have to actually be floating in the singular. Shoot the gun once. Grenade directly on you. Okay. The engineers. Okay. Good job. Engineers right there. He's putting another one down. He's putting another one down. Shoot. shoot. It's up. Oh, you got the engineer at least. That's what I was going for. Great again. Uh, I think there might be another engineer. Uh, yep, turret, 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 get out of there. Didn't see it. Um, she's just gonna get shot down by a turret. engineer right there you missed you have a gun also uh you can just punch him It's not the lab. Come back. Up. Oh. I think it's the one on the left. All the way on the left. It's real fucking in here.
never thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here. Then why would I shoot those guys? There's an engineer. Shoot him. You have a sniper rifle. Uh. You have some guys on there, right? Now slot them. Okay, we will do that. Is that our one? No. Uh, more guys behind you. What? He was alive. So I need to go this way. Yeah, try that door. Ah! Not good. You were very, very, very prepared. You know my only weakness. Besides banshees. Um. Uh, there's an engineer right at the door. I wouldn't get around that guy's shield. Back away. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're dying. Okay. Oh. I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. There's an engineer right there. Yeah, the two shield guys. Punch him. You can just revive her. Hey. I almost got away. <laughs> yeah, I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Too aggressive. Oh, okay. Or and you quit the game by hitting a bunch of buttons. How did I do that? Well, you, you were just bashing every button on the controller. Yeah, I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Pull that guy. Okay, 
Alright, leave him be. He's behind you. Get out of there. There's, there's a shield guy to the right. Punch him. Shockwave. Okay, that's our one. Not sure where you're going. You can shoot in the thing they look through. Okay, uh, shockwave. Are hit you it. standing up? It won't let me hit it from the cover, otherwise I get hit. Here, we are. There's someone else here. There's two. See. It's this way. Try it to the left there. Yeah, I'm back there. Nope. Oh, it's not in there. Oh, that, hmm. Spinning in a circle is not the answer, also. Try it through that door. See, you want some way to jump down. I know. Yeah, that's to the right. That's in front of me. Okay, to the left. Can you get through there? No, to the left. Just jump down there. There you
You need a ladder. You need a ladder. I'm transmitting the signal. You have to def defend it. Other side. That way. Grenade. Um. throw that? He was flying in the air. And he had a better vantage point. Probably not the best place to defend from. <laughs> that singularity might be good. Yeah, right that's what I just thought of. Why did I could explode them? There's a uh, door to your left that you're getting shot from. Left. There's there is a guy in there. I'm not sure where they're at now. Oh, an engineer. <laughs> Someone in there. Now oh, they're there. That's it for that wave. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. Fresh clips? Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. I saw a supply cache in the building next door if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Well, but we're strategizing. I'll be back. Uh, are you trying to die? Not purposefully. There is down. Missile, missile, missile. Lots of guys. Someone behind you. Back way. Yeah. Okay. You can open the light pod now. Where is inside? We don't need no 
He's confused. No city. Fifty thousand years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Mm. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. You didn't have to run down there. Get it free. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations.
But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. You trust him or are you careful? At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. I agree. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? I do not believe you, Commander. Lying is a biological marker. There is doubt behind your words. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? <coughs> We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. Mm -hmm. 
Sure. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. <laughs> Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Mm. Those that faced the Reapers time. in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Virtual. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. 
He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Hey. It's getting late. You want to stop there? We can yeah. go around and... Maybe talk to people later if you want to talk to people. That was a lot. Very much. So. Still no fish. No, no fish. Okay. No, to die. To get indoctrinated. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hopefully everyone enjoyed today's episode. We'll be back next Friday. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye.